Do you want your base to do this? The setup is so simple and cheap that you'll learn how to make it in two minutes. This is all you need for an automatic full base lockdown using the seismic sensor. It can close up to 90 doors which is more than what most bases will have. All you need is two branches. A seismic sensor. XOR switch, a memory cell, a light. It can be any type of light and a button. Connect your battery to the power in of the first branch. Set the branch out to 1 and connect it to the sensor. Take the power out of the sensor and connect it to the set function of the memory cell. Connect the power out of the branch to power in of the next branch. Add a door controller to each door you want to auto-close with the sensor. Then connect them in chain using the power in and pass-through function of the controller. You need one power for each door controller. Count the amount of doors plus one. This will be the power to set into the branch out. Connect the branch out to the input A of the switch. Then, connect the power out of the switch into the memory cell. Connect the output of the memory cell to the light and connect the inverted output to the power in of the first door controller. Be careful that when powering the doors, all of them will open. The circuit is complete. Note that any explosion will close all doors. Doesn't matter if it's satchel, HV rocket, or C4. If a door is close, it will stay close, so don't worry about them opening while getting raided. Once the sensor is triggered the manually open doors will not close anymore. The light will show you that the circuit has been activated and this is where you'll need the button. Connect the power out of the button to the reset port of the memory cell. You need to be aware of two things. Never leave the button connected as it can be pressed by raiders. When you reset it, all connected doors will open. If this simple setup helped you, consider giving the video a like or a sub. Now let me show you how to upgrade the system to filter the type of explosives used, add a panic shutdown button, and smart alarm notification. For filtering the explosives that will lock down the base, add a splitter, a light and a smart alarm. Connect the power out of the sensor to the power in of the splitter. Power out 1 will go to the light. Power out 2 will go to the alarm. Power out 3 will go to the set function of the memory cell. Now, tier 1 explosives will not lock down your base. The green light will turn on but it won't close anything or notify you. This includes HV rocket, grenades or beam cans. Explosive ammo will send notification to your phone app but it will still not shut down your base. Real rockets and C4 will both shut down your base and send you a notification. Now, let's add a panic button to the circuit. We'll just add three components so I'll still keep it simple. Add a branch, an XOR switch and a smart switch. It can be a regular switch, but I prefer having it smart to be able to close it from the phone. Connect the power out of the branch to the power in of the new branch. Take the branch out and connect it to the power in of the switch. Connect the power out of the switch to input B of the XOR switch. Disconnect the set function of the memory cell. You can right click to do it and connect it to the input A of the XOR switch. Now, take the power out and connect it to the set function of the memory cell. The upgraded circuit is complete. 
Now you have a panic button that you can use for emergency lockdown from inside the base or from your phone. The previous rules apply regarding what type of explosives will close your doors. If you want the base to also close when explosive ammo is shot, then just remove the green light and it will do just that. Now you have a complete circuit that you can use in your base. If this saved you time and made your base better consider giving it a like and a sub.